Should the Carolina Panthers draft Mac Jones? Let's talk about it. Growing up as a kid, yeah. All a nigga wanna have was a very big scarf and three dollars in my pocket. Instead of got beat with a switch, but I don't give a fuck, but it's on my body. Scars all up on me, but I run around from everybody. Life lesson learned, I better learn from this bitch, nobody. She pushed me around, she didn't give no motherfucks about it. She broke my heart three times. What is up everybody, it's JT Sports, I'm back to you guys with another video. Before I get into it, make sure that you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel because I upload NFL videos and NFL content daily. Also make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video. So, should the Carolina Panthers draft Mac Jones with the 8th overall pick in the upcoming 2021 NFL Draft? Now, this is a pretty intriguing question. So basically, you're saying that Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, and Trey Lance are both off the board when the Carolina Panthers are on the clock. So pretty much you either have one or two scenarios. The Carolina Panthers draft Mac Jones or they trade back. Now, personally, I think that Mac Jones to Carolina would be a pretty good fit. Now, I do believe that Mac Jones to Carolina wouldn't be good as a fit as, say, Justin Fields or Trey Lance, but I do feel like the Carolina Panthers could draft Mac Jones and Mac Jones could have success in Carolina. Now, Matt Rule has been pretty high on Mac Jones during the draft process, and a lot of people have said that they don't see a way that Mac Jones falls past a overall past Carolina now here is what Mac Jones brings to Carolina that you don't already have at the quarterback position for one you have a quarterback who can throw the ball down the field something that has been a big knock on Teddy Bridgewater is that he doesn't have a strong arm and on top of that he's too conservative with the football well Mac Jones is probably the best deep ball thrower in this year's draft class you also have a guy who is really accurate you also have a guy who is really smart with making decisions and you have a guy who can start day one if you need him to. Now, the knocks on Mac Jones is the fact that you get a guy who is pretty much a pocket pass. So when Mac Jones drops back, you know where he's going to be at at the end of the play. Now, Mac Jones has more mobility than what a lot of people are giving him credit for now he doesn't have plays in the 4-4 speed or anything like that but he does have some mobility that he can pick up a couple of yards if he has to he does have some mobility to roll outside and extend plays if he needs to but for the most part he is a typical prototypical drop back passer now for Carolina you can win with Matt Jones because you already have one of the best receivers cores in the NFL you have DJ Moore you have Robbie Anderson one of the best deep threats in the NFL so I mean you have a pretty solid group of wide receivers so the biggest question is going to be how is the rain game going to be because you're going to have Chris McCaffrey coming off an injury riddle season in 2020 last year. How is he going to be able to help out Mac Jones? And on top of that, Chris McCaffrey, you also can pretty much consider him another weapon in the passing game because he's the best receiving back that we have in the game. So Mac Jones has all the weapons at his disposal to be good in Carolina. Now, the question is that you have to ask yourself if you are a Panthers fan is, would you be good with Mac Jones or could you be better with another quarterback than Mac Jones? So ideally, if you're Carolina, essentially, if you do want to get a guy like a Trey Lance or a Justin Fields, you probably want to trade up higher than where you're currently selecting right now because there is a possibility that Trey Lance won't be on the board who is pretty much more likely to land in Carolina than Justin Fields. But Mac Jones, I think, is a pretty good fit in Carolina. Now, like I said earlier, Trey Lance and Justin Fields would be better fits, but you could walk away from the NFL draft with Matt Jones as a Panthers fan, and you could be satisfied with the results because I think Mac Jones probably is more ready to start day one than Trey Lance and Justin Fields. For Justin Fields, we don't know how well Justin Fields' decision making is because his decision making was really poor at times this past year against Indiana, Northwestern. He struggles to read the field, and those are really big problems that you know 
aren't really what you like to see from a quarterback who you have the intention to start day one. If I'm drafting a quarterback in the first round with the intention to start him day one, one thing that I want him to already be good at is being able to read coverages and be smart with the football. And that's something that Justin Fields has struggled with, which means that he's not a day one starter. So for Carolina, if you draft Mac Jones, I think Mac Jones, even though he doesn't have the potential and the upside as a guy like Trent Lance and Justin Fields has, you have a guy who can come in right away and compete with Teddy Bridgewater and win that starting job. I don't think that Carolina drafting Mac Jones is a bad idea, but I also want to be opposed from the idea of Carolina choosing to trade down and maybe Justin Fields, you know, ends up, you know, not being as good as a guy like a Mac Jones, you know, because at the end of the day, it comes down to team fit. It comes down to how well an organization is able to build around the quarterbacks. The quarterbacks who are bust most of the time go to a bad coaching staff and a bad organization. So really, Carolina, if they do have such a great coaching staff with Joe Brady, with Matt Rule, they should be able to win with Matt Jones. And I like the team that Carolina already has. All you really need is a quarterback to get you there because Teddy Bridgewater started 2020 out well, but then he kind of fizzed out over the stretch. So really, me personally, I like Mac Jones in Carolina. I wouldn't be against Carolina drafting Mac Jones. Now, like I said, Trey Lance, Justin Fields will probably be better fits in Carolina, but Mac Jones could still go to Carolina, have some success, and win you some games in the playoffs. So, let me know what you guys think about the Carolina Panthers drafting Matt Jones. Are you against it? Would you be okay with the Carolina Panthers drafting Matt Jones? Would you prefer Carolina to trade down? Make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thank you all for watching.